adding and subtracting positive whole numbers without a calculator. We will use a calculator, but just to check our answers and make sure we get those skills. And this is a revision topic from previous years. Don't forget to print out the worksheet so that you can work along with me. So one way to help us add and subtract numbers without a calculator is using a number line. And we'll have run across this before. We've got three plus four. Start on the first number, three. Remember that if we are adding, overall we're gaining. We move to the right on the number line. If we're subtracting, if we're overall losing, we move to the left. So three plus four, go to three. One, two, three, four. This equals seven, which is pretty obvious, but using the number line will help us in the future. Seven minus two, go to the first number. We're subtracting, so we're moving to the left. Take away two, we've got five. Obviously, if we were feeling nervous, we could check with our calculator. Seven take away two equals five. There we go. Zero plus four, start at the zero, move up four. One, two, three, four. We've got four. This will help us in the next lessons when we have to start adding and subtracting with negative whole numbers. The way that we work through larger numbers, so when it's way too big for the number line, is using the algorithm. So these questions have asked us to use the number line to evaluate, remembering of course that evaluate means find the value, the number answer, and here use the correct algorithm to evaluate. An algorithm is a way of setting out a question and then following steps till we get the answer. So the way that we set out adding or subtracting, the first number on top plus the second number underneath, it's already done for us here. And remember, of course, that our place values need to be lined up. So the units are in line, the tens are in line, the hundreds are mostly in line. My writing was a bit messy. We start adding or subtracting at the smallest place value. So here with the units. Remember we put a line underneath. Three plus five is eight. Put it underneath. Three plus nine. Now that's 12. We can't put 12 in here. So you'll remember when we've got two digits, we put the units here, the two, and we carry the one. So we'll go into the next column. That, of course, does not make this a 12. That's an extra one. So this hundreds column is one plus two plus one, which is four. There's a couple of ways that we can check our answer. Remember, you can always check with a calculator, even if you've done the working. 233 plus 195, 428. So that's good. It means I don't need to check my answers. I've done it correctly. We could check our answers by quickly estimating 233 plus 195. Look, that's about 230 plus about 200. That's going to be about 430. That's about right. So just going to pretty close with the numbers and checking is a good idea. And of course, you can always try quickly reversing what you've done. Because if we did 428 minus 195, we'd get this, 233. Since we've got a calculator to check, we won't worry too much. This one here, 327 take away 42. Start with the units. Don't forget your line underneath. 7 take away 2 is 5. Now 2 take away 4. That's a problem. Our number that we're starting with is smaller than the number that we're taking away. You'll remember from previous years that when we have that problem, we need to borrow from the next digit up. Here I've got a 3. I'll take away 1. 
leaving that at 2, and move the 1 to here, so I've got 12. If you're confused by this, maybe check out the last year's video. I'll link it underneath. 12 take away 4 is 8. And now we've got 2 take away nothing. If there's a gap, pop in the 0. Sorry, my minus is in the wrong spot there. 2 take away 0 is 2. Here, 105 take away 87. This isn't set out in the correct algorithm, so we'll have to write it in the correct way first. 105 take away 87, making sure that our place value lines up. 5 take away 7, can't do it, we'll have to borrow. But this is a zero, there's nothing I can borrow. I'll have to go to the next one over, this one. Take away one from one leaves me with zero, and a 1 here is 10. Now this is 10. Now I've got to borrow from here. My working is going to get pretty messy. This is now 9, and my 1 goes to here. 15 take away 7 is 8. 9 take away 8 is 1, and 0. We're left with 18. A quick check, around about 100 minus around about 85. We should be getting around about 20. That's okay. So if you're feeling happy with that, questions follow on the worksheet.